Do I have to go back? I whined to Mrs. Harrison the next morning. Honey, they're your parents, Mrs. Harrison said gently. But just so you know, if you ever need anything, you can always count on the boys and I, right? She turned to her sons. Randy and Sully smiled at me and nodded. God, Randy's smile was just so contagious. I couldn't help but smile back. As soon as Mrs. Harrison dropped me off at the so-called home I had no choice but to live in, I ran straight up to my room before my parents could start yelling at me again, saying that being gay was a sin and all that bullshit. I just locked the door and flung myself onto my bed, putting on my headphones and turning on my favorite screamo music to block out the sound of my mother and father yelling again. I should have known they wouldn't support me. They already hated me because of what happened to Ella and Maddie. About an hour or so later, I got a call from Troy. Hi dude, I said, trying to keep the sadness from my voice. Hey man, Troy replied. Randy and Sully told Malthus and I about what happened. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I lied. Troy sighed. Dude, you gotta stop lying to us like that. We know about your dad. We know about your mom. Lying is just fucking pointless by now. It was hard to keep in my sob. With boys nowadays being expected to be insensitive and careless, and don't get me wrong, a lot of them are, I, once again, counted myself lucky. Thanks, Troy, I said. No prop, Keith, Troy said. What do you say we gather at the gang at the park tomorrow and have a big snowball fight? Maybe that'll cheer you up. That sounds awesome, I answered. After making plans, I hung up and turned on my music again. That night, I could hear a storm brewing outside. Is it possible to get thunder in a snowstorm? Well, I think it is, because I heard thunder that night, and I didn't like it. I don't want to sound like a pussy, but I've been afraid of thunder ever since I was a kid. The reason is because there was a thunderstorm on the day of my sister's funeral. And that was the worst day of my life, so you can't really blame me, I guess. I hid under the covers, flinching every time another burst of thunder rolled across the sky. With every crack came another fleeting image of my sister's graves. I hadn't even bothered to get dinner or any food at all, so I was starving. I was so hungry my stomach was hurting, but I refused to leave my room. I didn't want to face my parents. I couldn't. I just couldn't. The heavens exploded again, and I jumped, cowering under the blanket. Again, those carvings set against stone. Ella Dakota Brahms. Madison Lexi Brahms. Ugh, make it stop. Just make it stop. Suddenly, there was a knock on my door. Keith? Mom? Why the hell would she check on me? Keith, please open the door. I brought you some food. I wanted to refuse her offer, but my stomach was screaming for something to eat. Coming, I groaned. I kicked off the blankets and unlocked the door to find my mother standing there with a plate of spaghetti. She looked tired and her eyes were red and puffy. I scowled and snatched the plate from her hands, attempting to close the door on her, but she caught it. Honey, she said, this... This is just a phase, right? It's just not right for you to like boys. You're supposed to like girls. It's only natural. A boy having a, a crush on another boy, it's, it's the work of demons. I felt my eyes growing warm as anger formed a pit in my stomach. This woman was my mother, for fuck's sake. How could anyone say that something like that to her own son? It's not my choice who I love. This isn't a goddamn phase, Mom! I snapped, trying to keep the tremble from my voice. And you want to know how I found out? How? Mom asked, sniffling a little bit as she glared at me. Randy, I like him, Mom. I really do! I said before I could stop myself. With that, I slammed the door in her face, sinking to the ground with my back against it. I put the plate of spaghetti next to me on the floor. I was trying desperately to keep the sobs in, but my attempts failed when I heard my mother yell the following as she stomped away. 
Your sisters wouldn't approve of this, Keith Gabriel Brahms. That did it. I buried my face into the palms of my hands, letting the tears run free. She was right. What would they say?